Hi everyone, this is Skylo and me, and I'm here with my little silver fox, Rumpelstiltskin. Um, well, in this video I'm going to show you uh, some stuff that I have been getting. Actually, this is a whole video, so like usual. Um, but I'm going to start by showing you um, some plushies that I found in the drift shop. Uh, first of all, I found this adorable little husky. Now, there are not that much huskies there. Um, but I found this little small guy and, well, he appeared to be a brown one, which is pretty special. Uh, actually, I think I have three brown small huskies now, because they're kind of hard to find. So, <laughs> I was kind of happy I found this one. Also, I found um, another Pokemon. I found uh, Blastoise. Now, I'm not that sure I still want to collect Pokemon. I'm not that sure, but when I find a nice Pokemon, I get it. Um, and I'll make up my mind later. <laughs> so actually, well, he's still tagged. Um, and I think he's from the... I don't really know what the brand was. Um, I always see the same tag on them. And I think he's, yes, indeed, play-by-play. -play. That's uh, always the same tag that I see on those Pokemon plush. Um, they were really in when I was... Um, they were very fashionable when I was a little girl. Uh, I didn't have the opportunity col to collect them when I was little. So actually, when I now I have them here myself, it's kind of special. I like his his fur; it's beautiful. I have been finding some Pokemon in the um, <laughs> his little cannons here in the in the thrift. I'm gonna show you them. Um, actually, I would like to find the the ones that I really love uh, the most, but it's kind of hard to find. Always. Really, you have to have you have to have the chance to find one, if there is one. But it's not only not um, it's rarely the one you like. One day I found Gengar. Um, so these are just random Pokemon I've been finding who are kind of rare in stores, and who are kind of rare in stores now. This little guy. Now I lost his name. And, and they are all produced by that same company. And I found Elegit. I think this is Elegit. And I found, was it the last one? No, Pidgeotto here. And actually it's one of the bigger ones. Um, so these are all kind of special also because I just found them for like 50 cents in the thrift shop. My Pikachu is just from a regular shop. Uh, and this is a little Charizard bean bag, which I don't really like that much. There were m more beautiful Charizards when I was very little, but too bad I couldn't collect them. I would be very excited having one when I was very young, but now, now they are so hard to find. So, well, I like the shape of his head actually. He's beautiful. So actually, I just put him with the others. Um, one Pokemon that I really love was my Charmander plush, and it's still in the... I can see him from here, but he's still in my big plush basket. So these are the little pl uh, Pokemon that I have been finding in the thrift shop. I also found some nice stuff for Katie, but I made a separate video for you, uh, so that you can have a look at the plush that I'm going to put, in, put into your package. Um, and just to let you know, I didn't find all those Pokemon in one day. I've been finding them uh, over, over several months. And I think that another company name that also appear on their tags is uh, Nintendo. So I don't really know uh, who produced them. Uh, but just have a look on Play by Play and Nintendo. Might have some results. I think those plush are pretty old, as far as I know. I think they're not, they're kind of retired, they're not in stores anymore. However, now I'm going to continue uh, by showing you some adorable lightsabers. Uh, now I have been getting some adorable little surprise bags with lightsaber keychains in them. I didn't really know they, ex uh, they exist, um, but I found them by coincidence and I definitely would like to collect more. Um, and I'm going to show you the first three ones that I have been getting. Now I was so lucky. I made an opening video of these. Uh, first of all, I had Luke's lightsaber. And then 
I pack it, uh, I unboxed Anakin's lightsaber, the one that I really wanted to get. <laughs> and, um, and Yoda's lightsaber. So these are just really sturdy, beautiful little keychain lightsabers. Um, they light up and they have a little, well, you have a little strip you have to remove and I think they have a little switch here, a little button to make them light up. Um, so I don't really know how uh, intense the light is. I just keep them as collectibles. I don't really want to use them because I think they're just so special and so beautiful and so precious. I really would like to find more of them, but I think I just found one shop who had those. So it's hard to find if you ask me. Maybe I should just keep looking. Um, but really, I love them. And as in this blue one. So there are also a Darth Vader one, a Darth Maul one, and an Obi-Wan lightsaber available. But these are in surprise bags, so you never know which one you get. <laughs> However, I was actually looking for even more of these. Uh, I, w I wanted to find a small figure of Kylo too, but instead I found Vader. And, um, well, too bad in that shop from the same chain these were not available. Uh, I, I could see that coming. Um, so I'm definitely going to go back to fetch these, because I, I just love them. Uh, well, yeah, this is the little Darth Vader figure that I have been finding. A while ago they had Kylo and I really wanted to get him, but he was sold out. I've been waiting too long. So, yeah, well, now I'd like to unbox this one in the, ne in the next video to compare him with my uh, other Darth Vader action figure that I have. Also, I'm pretty curious about his size. He seemed to be pretty big for a regular action figure. However, you're gonna see that in the next video. Now I'm going to show you the candy lightsabers that I have been getting. You might have seen them earlier. One of them was already here. Um, now these are little cute lightsabers with candy in there. Um, I just keep them like they are. It says try me. Well, which one is this? This is the blue one, so this is one of the newer ones that I have been getting. I was really looking for those surprise bags and actually I found these ones on my way. I've been getting a green one earlier. This is the red one that I have been getting. So actually these one, these are not no surprises and you can just see which color they are. Also there's a little battery you can change. So these are just really cute too. And the one, wa this was my first one, the green one. Uh, so yeah, glad to have the three colors now. I don't really know where you can find these. They were just available in my local toy shop, so... And they were kind of cheap. Yeah, I just like those little collectibles. Also because they can be really nice stuff. I just love the candy in them, I don't really mind about it. But I was really impressed by those little keychains here. I love them. It's crazy. Also, I've been getting another little surprise bag, but the main reason I got it was for Kylo because it was a smaller Darth Vader helmet. Now I'll take you up the shelf. I've been placing shelves here for the plush. Now here's Kylo's little helmet and it's, and it's a little candy holder. I've been opening it in a separate video, so you're gonna see what's inside in the next video. I guess he has his own, his own little helmet to talk to and to hold. It's just so cute. It really fits his hand. So he has his lightsaber and his helmet. And I have been getting another little leather bracelet for my Phasma blush. And it's with a P for her. <laughs> now I had one for my smaller blush, but it didn't fit her neck. The bigger one, so I got her another one. That I could put around her wrist. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, it was a very surprising trip um, to Malin I had a while ago. And actually, when I was up to find these, I was also getting something else, something really adorable. Um, something I was really very excited about. I found this big dragon. Um, actually, he looks like a big plush, but he's actually a puppet. 
that's what I don't really like about him, but it's not really obvious, so I guess I don't mind. Now see, here is his big mouth, and here you have his his maul. And here is a, a place where you can put your hand inside. But actually it's so kind of realistic that his, the skin around his neck just hangs around like this. <laughs> also he has big ears. He has like no horns, but he has beautiful sparkly yellow eyes. Very realistic, if you ask me. I just really liked him. He was really expensive though, of course. Um, he's from the Puppet Company and I believe there's also a red and a green one available like this. I got the black one because he looked most real. Um, oh man, his beautiful eyes, really. Don't really know for how much he goes. I paid about um, 48 euros for him. But of course he is really beautiful. I've been seeing him on a website for 17 pounds. And I put this little harness on him. This is actually Roxanne's harness. <laughs> but it fits well. I've been trying to find another one for him but and these are his wings. And he has like, well, all, all shiny stuff on him, all, <laughs> all the glamour stuff on him, that's so beautiful. So actually it looks really realistic. I like the green one too. Uh, I had to think before getting him because I wasn't so sure it was a good deal, but I love him just so much and in general I don't used to get Plushes, that's much expensive, but in that shop I have like no choice, and this was just such a beautiful one, so. But actually, actually I think I showed him earlier in another haul, now I just reminded. <laughs> now I just remembered. However, it's just so beautiful, so I had to show him twice. <laughs> no, just joking. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.